So Loki just had what I think was its best episode yet, and a huge step up from a sort of disappointing, or at least a sort of different third episode. And I think part of the reason why this episode was so much better is that, as great as Tom Hiddleston and Loki are, I do think it's the TVA and Mobius that are really excelling this show, and they were two things missing from last episode, they got brought back this episode. So we also got a bunch of revelations mainly pertaining to the fact that any member of the TVA are variants and were taken from the sacred timeline at some point and basically just had their minds wiped. We also saw android or robot versions of the timekeepers which sort of confirms what most of us have thought and that is that the timekeepers are either dead or just that they left the TVA a while ago. Um, did not yet confirm if Kang's involved in all of that so it'll be interesting to see if the, the final two episodes kind of bring in Kang or mention Kang at all or if that's something they're just going to not touch until Ant-Man 3. But surprisingly enough this this episode actually had Lady Sif's first MCU appearance since Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, and I think she's confirmed for Thor Love and Thunder as well, but it's pretty great that she's being brought back into the fold because it did feel like she kind of disappeared from Marvel for a while. Her absence from Thor Ragnarok was kind of noticeable, but to be honest it's probably good she wasn't there at all since the other three warriors got killed like immediately by Hela, so it's good that we didn't have to see that happen for Lady Sif. But um, the whole scene between Loki and Sif in general was pretty great. I think it's an interesting memory to give to Loki, and I've seen a lot of people say that this was Mobius' way of kind of helping Loki, like instead of throwing him in an incredibly distressing memory like dying to Thanos, seeing his father die, falling off the Rainbow Bridge, whatever, he was given a pretty basic memory where he played a prank on Sif and got pretty much a slap on the wrist for it. Um, so kind of like a memory that's a little too annoying, but nothing too distressing. So I think this was the point though. If you're going to have a memory repeated over and over, I think a smaller, generic, and little annoying one is more along the lines of psychological torture than giving him something that will just completely destroy him or piss him off. It reminds me of Daryl Dixon kind of in The Walking Dead Season 7, because he's captured by Negan and locked up and they play the same obnoxious song over and over and over again to kind of annoy him and just drive him crazy. And it's the kind of thing that as a once off it's pretty annoying but when you repeat it over and over it becomes so much worse. So I think psychological torture is what this is and it could end up being 10 times worse on Loki than physical and having to repeat his death over and over is something that I would personally think is the equivalent of physical torture. So basically, that kind of went off on a tangent there. What I'm trying to say is I don't think this was Mobius trying to help Loki. I think this was 100% a purposeful chosen memory by the TVA in general and it was meant to be that memory, it was meant to do what it did. Um, but in terms of the ending with Loki seemingly dying and then coming back, I'm not certain on what the hell that means, but my guess is one of two things. Either pruning doesn't kill you and instead transfers you to a separate dimension or reality that's made up of all the variants of yourself that have been pruned over the centuries. So like for example, for Loki he was transferred to a dimension of other Loki variants so the only people who kind of populate that dimension could be Loki variants. It's kind of weird that his dimension looks like a destroyed New York though because you can see the Avengers Tower in the background and also you could see that in the trailer. But honestly I do hope that this is what happened because this would mean that Mobius is still alive that once he got pruned he was just transferred to another dimension full of a Mobius variants and um, now the other theory I have is that just because Loki is a demigod that means he's too powerful to be killed by pruning so the pruning simply just transfers him to a different timeline or dimension whereas pruning would easily kill a regular human like Mobius um, there's also it could just be that like everyone is transferred to one timeline or one reality and um so like everyone's in the one timeline now or the one pruned reality or whatever but I hope that it's the the one where you know everyone's kind of sent to a reality made for them as variants or whatever but Sylvie ended up being a really cool character this time around uh, she felt like a different character last time this was the episode where I could see the Loki variant part of her kind of peeking out and at the end of the episode when she threw the sword or whatever uh, I actually thought that that felt very Loki like when she threw the sword at the timekeepers which she thought was the real timekeepers um, so I thought that was just such a low-key thing to do. It was also really interesting to see her origin and see how she got captured by the TVA on Asgard, but we still don't exactly know how the timeline split happened or what caused her to be created. And this seems like something important or something they're deliberately hiding since it got brought up twice this episode with no actual concrete answers on it. I also want to shout out their use of technology really quick because the part where Mobius stole the pad from, from uh, Ravona, I think her name is, and then used it, I love how they added this retro 80s look to something that is supposed to be more advanced than anything we have today. The way they made it sound and the little pixelated almost like, it, it almost looked like a 1980s video game was really cool and made it stand out. But yeah, overall, I think this was a really good episode. They did a really good job at setting up the final two episodes. I'm still of the mind that Loki will get a second season. 
Um, thinking that he died for a second threw me off, but seeing him show back up at the end confirmed for me that this version of Loki is probably going to stick around in the MCU for a while. I could see the TVA falling down at the end of the season and possibly opening the door for the multiverse to go mad and things like Doctor Strange 2, uh, Sp maybe Spider-Man 3. I'm actually, I know people are kind of assuming 100% that people like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are going to be in Spider-Man 3. Uh, I'm not going to get hyped up for that until we get some official confirmation from somewhere. I don't want to go into the movie disappointed, so I'm not going to say that's a multiverse film until we find out for sure. But um. If the TVA does fall at the end of this season, it would be cool to have a second season that focuses on Loki, Sylvie, and Mobius maybe having to try and stop as much of the multiverse from exploding into the sacred timeline as possible, so that'd be really cool. But um, yeah, this is a short enough review, I just going to kind of give my thoughts on the episode, but how did you feel about it? Did you like the episode? Did you hate the episode? And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and all of that, and I hope you have a great day.